This What I Eat in a Week video is very kindly sponsored by my favorite people in web design at Squarespace. Good morning, my beautiful friends, and welcome back to another video. I hope you have all been keeping so very well. Today I am back with your favorite style of video. It's a what I eat in a week as a vegan, but this week I decided to do something a little bit special. I very commonly get asked for gluten-free recipes, so for this what I eat in a week I actually decided to go mostly gluten-free for the week so that I could not only challenge myself but also hopefully bring you some new vegan and gluten-free meal ideas. Let's just get right on into it. This is everything that I ate in a week as a vegan who is eating gluten-free for the week and I hope you enjoy. So for breakfast on Monday morning I decided to make a smoothie with some ice cubes as well as fresh spinach then I also added in frozen banana as well as macadamia milk which is my favorite milk at the moment I then also added in some peanut butter as well as some chocolate protein powder maca powder and cacao powder then I also added in some hemp seeds put the lid on and blended it all together I love adding ice to my smoothies because it gets this really fresh icy texture for lack of a better word <laughs> okay then at 11 30 a.m i got hungry so i decided to make myself some avocado on toast a classic so i just put half an avocado as well as some lemon into a bowl then i also added in some vegan feta and i mashed it all together and then i also put in some salt and pepper into that as well i got some gluten-free toast which i toasted up and then put the avo smash on top and that was my lunch I suppose and then at 4 30 p.m. I felt snacky so I had one of these dessert balls which is really really yummy then that night for dinner I decided to first of all start with some broccoli two heads of broccoli to be exact then I put some olive oil into my frying pan and fried up the broccoli I also then put some rice noodles into boiling water pretty sure I overcooked these rice noodles because this dish was a bit well it was actually a lot of a fail we didn't have much food left in the fridge and so I was using up pretty much whatever we had left so I chopped up some cucumbers and spring onions as well then I put the rice noodles as well as broccoli the cucumber into a bowl tossed that together then I drizzled through a tahini dressing that I made with tahini lemon and maple syrup put some spring onion and lime on top and that was my dinner on Monday pretty simple and then after that I was honestly still hungry so I decided to have a little dessert snack with some coconut yogurt some chocolate pieces and some fresh berries on Tuesday morning I first of all started with some butter beans which I drained and rinsed then in a saucepan I put a little bit of olive oil as well as the butter beans then I added in tomato sauce as well as barbecue sauce nutritional yeast lemon juice and salt and then some pepper as well and then I mix this all together I'm making like a homemade baked beans kind of thing I tend to mix up how I make it every single time then I decided to have three pieces of gluten-free toast put my baked beans on top and then I also put on some feta I was really enjoying the feta this week as you can probably tell I also put some spring onion on top as well this is a really hearty and delicious way to start the day probably my favorite breakfast at the moment okay so then it got to 11 30 a.m and it's Tuesday and I'm having my first ice cacao for the week if you're new to my channel ice cacao is something that we have a lot of here and I make it with cacao powder as well as maca powder and today I put protein powder salt boiling water and maple syrup in as well which I mixed all together and then I poured over some macadamia milk sometimes I make this with protein powder sometimes I make it without really depends what I'm feeling on the day but yes I love ice cacao very much so I got hungry in the early afternoon and so I started by roasting some chickpeas in some olive oil as well as salt and some lemon juice I put these in the oven to roast for about 20 minutes 
lettuce and then in a bowl I put some cos lettuce and kale as well as the tahini dressing that I had made. I tossed this and massaged this all together I suppose and then I also put on some crispy polenta which was a bit of a fail and then I also put sun-dried tomatoes on top as well as my crispy chickpeas which had roasted in the oven. Okay for dinner this night I first of all started with some sweet potato and I chopped it into quite small cube sized pieces then into this I also put some olive oil as well as garlic and then smoked paprika. I then tossed this all together so everything was nice and evenly coated and then roasted it in the oven for about 30 minutes. Then I got some tofu. I was making dinner tonight for myself and for Kara and whilst I'm not a big fan of tofu Kara is so I made her some barbecue tofu with some olive oil, salt, barbecue sauce, smoked paprika and I tossed this all together and then baked it in the oven for 20 minutes. I then also decided to make some black beans. So I put some olive oil, black beans, tomato sauce and smoked paprika as well as nutritional yeast into a pot and I mixed this all together till it was nice and well heated. And yeah, so tonight I was making these to make tacos. We had a really great taco night. I had three tacos with black beans and sweet potato. We also had guacamole, coriander, salsa, some cos lettuce, and then obviously we had the tofu that I made for Kara. Really yummy and really delicious. So on Wednesday morning, I started my day by putting some ice cubes as well as frozen banana and macadamia milk into a blender with some protein powder as well as cacao powder and maca powder and peanut butter as well it just keeps going and 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 anyway and then i put, blended this and poured it all up and it was a nice chocolate peanut butter smoothie to start the day after that at 11 a.m i felt hungry so i decided to try making some savory pancakes with chickpea flour nutritional yeast smoked paprika turmeric salt pepper and veggie stock and then i also added in some water and some lemon juice and i blended this all together then in a bowl i put some spinach as well as spring onion and some sun-dried tomatoes and also some dill and then I added in that savory pancake batter that I had just made. I mixed this all together well and then I put some olive oil into my frying pan and then I used some measuring cups to put the savory pancake batter over the heat. I flipped them making sure they were nice and golden on each side and this made three big pancakes which I topped with feta and some lime juice as well. Okay moving on and at 2 p.m. I was testing a recipe for my upcoming ebook which I'm very excited to share with you soon. It's gonna have some yummy gluten-free recipes recipes in it and this one is a black forest brownie and it was absolutely delicious. On Wednesday night Cara and I decided to get takeaway from one of our favorite local restaurants Greenhouse Canteen. They are a fully vegan and gluten-free restaurant and we got Korean rice cakes as well as a Caesar salad, mac and cheese and cauliflower wings. Okay I quickly need to interrupt my own voiceover to say a big thank you to my friends at Squarespace my absolute faves for sponsoring today's video. I am actually so excited because I'm currently in the process of redesigning my website in anticipation of some really exciting things that are to come, but that is not really the huge point. I mean, it is kind of the point, but it also kind of isn't the point. Anyway, I use Squarespace to design and host my website and genuinely it is the easiest platform to use. I don't really know if I'm the type of person that appears tech savvy, but I promise you I'm literally not. And everything that I do is self-taught. So using Squarespace has actually been one of the best decisions that I ever made because it is so easy to use. My favorite thing about them by far is the fact that I can so easily upload recipes to the website, which is something that I am going to be doing much more of in the near future, just so we are on the same page. Anyway, whether you are interested in selling products, advertising your business, posting recipes and blog posts online, any of the above, Squarespace is definitely the way to go. 
below. You can head to squarespace.com for a free trial. And then when you're ready to launch, you can actually go to squarespace.com forward slash Amanda Ducks and use my code Amanda Ducks, which will get you 10% off your first purchase of a website or a domain. And I promise you that is a very good deal. Okay, let's get back into what I was eating in a week, shall we? So Thursday morning started with me wanting to make homemade hash browns. So that's exactly what I did. I started with a couple of white potatoes as well as some chickpea flour, nutritional yeast, spring onion, and also some dill. Then I also added in some salt and pepper and I mixed this together well. Then in a frying pan over the heat, I put a little bit of olive oil and I rolled this mixture into three evenly, well, as even as I could get them sized pieces. And I fried these up in the olive oil once they were golden on each side and fried up nicely. I then put them onto a plate and I served them with some avocado as well as hemp seeds on top. These were really delicious. I recommend trying them. Okay, so now it's time for another iced cacao moment. I actually want an iced cacao now whilst I'm recording this voiceover. I think I'm going to have to make one. Anyway, it was really delicious. A nice little 11 a.m. pick me up that was super tasty. Okay, after that, I decided to rinse some black beans to make a really, really simple lunch this day. I just put some black beans as well as some tomato sauce into a small bowl and I started mashing it and then realized, hang on, I should add some smoked paprika. So that's what I did. I added smoked papri paprika and salt and I mashed that together and then I got these corn tortillas which had ripped it a bit ripped about a quarter of them off but I put some vegan cheese on them and some the black bean mixture and so then I fried them up and despite their shape not being perfect they were really really delicious honestly one of my favorite lunches that I had this entire week and then for dinner I decided to make potato salad so I boiled some potatoes I made a creamy cashew sauce and then I tossed that together with some greens as well just to add some greens to the meal I then put it into a smaller bowl because I was like hey I want to make this look beautiful but this bowl is way too big and then I cut up some rice paper bacon that I had made for the top and for some crispiness. I then also chopped up some spring onion and put it on top as well as some fresh dill. And yeah, this was dinner for myself and Kara. It was really, really delicious. And yeah, I loved it. Okay, Friday morning is here and surprise, surprise, I'm having an iced cacao to start the day. Can you blame me? Don't blame me, iced cacao made me crazy you know? And then I decided that I felt like something savory and I had some chickpea tempeh to use up in the fridge. So I cut up my chickpea tempeh, put some olive oil into a pan, added my chickpea tempeh, and then put some barbecue sauce on top because this barbecue sauce is so good. It's like really, really smoky. I love it so much. And yeah, I fried it up to make barbecue tempeh. So delicious. Then I got a couple of pieces of gluten-free bread. I put the some mayo, some vegan mayo. This is kind of like an open toasty kind of vibe is what I was going for. Vegan mayo, tomato, avocado, my barbecue tempeh on top. Oh, it was so good. I can actually taste it in my mouth right now as I'm as I'm recording this voiceover. Delicious. Okay, after this, I decided to make some protein balls. So I used some almond meal as well as chocolate protein powder. Then I also added in some maca powder as well as salt. I whisked this together so it was nice and well combined. Then I added in some maple syrup and then also added in peanut butter. I make a variation of these protein balls pretty regularly. They are really, really delicious. I mix this together well and then I decided to spice it up a little bit and add some vegan choc chips then I rolled all of these into balls and put them in the fridge to set for 15 minutes they were divine something I'm really into at the moment is lentil bolognese so I decided to make that for dinner tonight I started by chopping up some carrot into fine pieces as well as some celery into fine pieces as well then I also chopped up some spring onions as well as some garlic as finely as I could I put some olive oil into a frying pan and then added all of those veggies into the pan to begin frying up after that I then added in some tinned tomatoes and mixed it together well for like 
10 minutes or so and then I added in some lentils which I also mashed up in my hand so they had more of a mincy texture I also added in some spaghetti bolognese herbs as well as salt and pepper and mixed this together and left it to heat for about 10 to 15 minutes then I cooked up some gluten-free pasta topped it with some of the lentil bolognese mixture and some nutritional yeast and as well as that some hemp seeds love that delicious okay on Saturday morning I decided I wanted to try making some chocolate baked oats so I started with some banana oats flax meal and baking soda and chocolate protein powder as well as peanut butter into my blender I blended this all together put it into a bowl and then topped it with some choc chips and baked it in the oven once it came out I then topped it with some chocolate coconut yogurt as well as some fresh strawberries so good and I topped it with some hemp seeds as well this is like my new favorite breakfast other than baked beans <laughs> it's so delicious I love it so much and then after this I just felt like a little snack a few hours later so I decided to fry up some of these gyozas that I had in the freezer I had three left so I had these with some tamari on the side to dip it into once again they were really delicious and then after that Kara and I decided to sit down and watch a few episodes of Survivor and so what better to watch Survivor with than a kombucha and some chippies you know so that's exactly what we had and yeah we were watching season 20 of Survivor if you don't know this about me yet I'm a Survivor super fan it's my favorite show on the planet Anyway, after this, I then decided to get started on dinner. So I started by making a satay sauce with some peanut butter as well as sesame oil. And then I also added in tamari, but I honestly added way too much. This dish was really, really salty. So if you're gonna make this satay sauce, less tamari. Okay. Then I also made some tofu for Kara, which I dipped into the satay sauce and then put onto my baking tray. And for myself, I got some chickpea tempeh and did the same. And then I baked these in the oven for about 20 to 25 minutes. Then over the heat, I put some olive oil followed by some spring onion into a frying pan as well as some frozen veggies. Uh, we just had peas, beans, broccoli, and carrot, I'm pretty sure. But yeah, we just had frozen veggies in the freezer so I decided to use them we served this with some rice I then added the satay tempeh on top as well as extra satay sauce that I drizzled on top as well and then I also topped it with some sesame seeds this was really yummy and really filling I loved it okay and then on Sunday we decided to have a big brekkie moment at home so we made some hash browns as well as baked beans and it was really delicious so my plate had gluten-free toast on it with some avocado on top so delicious it was just avocado lemon salt and pepper mashed together simple then we also made some crispy kale which we fried with some oil and nutritional yeast we had three hash browns each which I made similarly to earlier in the week and then we also made some baked beans again made similarly to earlier in the week this was so good we felt so full and nourished and just super satisfied after so yes loved it very very much so then for lunch I didn't eat lunch till pretty late this day because I was pretty full after the big brekkie but when it came time for lunch I was like okay it's time to make my baked oats again so that's what I did I topped it with coconut yogurt again and strawberries and hemp seeds and my goodness I just love having baked oats at the moment they are so good to end the week I decided to try cooking with leek it's not something that I've cooked with much but Kara said this was one of the best meals that I made for the entire week so it must be good I chopped up this leek and then rinsed it well before putting some vegan butter as well as spring onions into a big saucepan with the leeks as well I fried these up until they were nice and golden and whilst that was happening I chopped up some potatoes into quarters these were quite small potatoes so just keep that in mind then I put these in with my golden leeks because we are making potato and leek soup baby and I added in some veggie stock as well some veggie broth whatever you want to call it and I cooked this down for probably like half an hour or something similar to that so it became like 
this and I was gonna originally blend it but it ended up tasting really nice chunky so that's what we did I had it with gluten-free bread and it was the perfect end to the week okay my beautiful friends that was everything that I ate in a week as a vegan who was eating gluten-free I really hope you enjoyed this video please let me know if there are any other things that you would like me to do like I was thinking of maybe doing like a vegan and nut free what I eat in a week because I know like I personally use a lot of like nuts and nut butters in my vegan food anyway let me know it's definitely something that I'm open to doing in the future as always thanks for being here and supporting me and my youtube channel I appreciate it so very much and I hope you have a really beautiful day I'll see you very soon for another video bye